The leadership for the America's Awards Gala honors exceptional leaders who promote values, the values and the mission uh, that we all share tonight. I now have the distinct pleasure of introducing you to Michael Shifter. He has been the Dialogues president for eight years and has done so much in this brief period. We invite you to visit their state-of-the-art offices and conference facilities uh, for you to see for yourselves how far the dialogue has come under Michael's leadership. Well done. Well done, Michael. Besides managing a talented team engaged in leading edge policy analysis, Michael, as you may know, writes and comments on US Latin American relations. His work appears in leading newspapers and journals, not only in the United States, but in nearly every newspaper in Latin America. In response to a rapidly changing hemisphere, Michael has led the dialogue through an exciting period of growth and renewal. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michael Shifter. Buenas noches. Good evening. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Patricia, for that uh, nice introduction. I appreciate your warm words. We're delighted that you were able to be with us tonight. Your brilliant career spans more than 25 years, and we've been good friends for the past two decades. As a world-class journalist, you ask probing questions. You shine a light on critical issues, relentlessly pursue the truth, and hold others to account. Your role as defender of democracy is invaluable. In these challenging times, the Americas is ever in need of dedicated journalists like you. We thank you. I want to extend a warm welcome and my deepest personal thanks to all of you for joining us this evening. We see your presence as a measure of your support and vote of confidence for the dialogue's work. We are honored to have many current and former government officials, as well as leaders from the private sector, philanthropy, and civil society. We're thrilled that 13 ambassadors from the region are with us this evening. Many of you in this room have traveled just to help us celebrate the achievements of our honorees. Distinguished guests in this room have come from Chile, Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Guatemala, Canada, and within the US from New York, Miami, Denver, Boca Raton, and Philadelphia. I'd like to express my profound gratitude to this evening's many sponsors. All of those sponsors are lifted, listed in your program and also are on our screens. I want to give special recognition to the Fundacion Vidanta for its very generous contribution to this evening. I also want to thank the Dialogues Gala Leadership Committee and its co-chairs, Ernesto Zedillo, Carla Hills, and Pierre Pettigrew, and to its honorary co-chairs, Fernando Enrique Cardoso, Ricardo Lagos, Enrique Iglesias, and Bob Zellick. We are thrilled and fortunate to be joined tonight by members of our board of directors, including our co-chair, Carly Hills, Pierre Pettigrew, Maria Fernanda Teixeira, David De Ferrante, Arturo Sarukan, Brian O'Neill, and our newest board member, Tom Shannon. From our President's Leadership Council, allow me to recognize Claudia Bloom and Bromwood Bateman. Thanks to many other dialogue members for being with us this evening. I am so excited about tonight's honorees. Each is a national treasure who embodies the value, the values that drive the dialogue's agenda. Each has taken crucial steps to make the Americas more just, compassionate, democratic, prosperous, and sustainable. A business leader 
who has become a global model for social responsibility and a champion for renewable energy and the environment. A passionate advocate and mentor devoted to women's empowerment and greater social equity. And a poet who has touched and uplifted so many with his rich imagination and rare gift for words. We thank you all for your inspiring leadership. I don't have to tell anyone in this room that this is a tough, daunting moment in the Western Hemisphere and indeed throughout the world. In this country, in just the past several days, ugly incidents have shaken and unnerved us. Throughout the Americas, accelerating, often surprising political shifts have left many of us bewildered and disoriented. In many of our societies, political and social fissures have deepened and have become more difficult to manage. Yesterday's election in Brazil and the US midterm election a week from tomorrow reveal profound fault lines. Turbulent times await us. Amid such confusion and disorder, points of productive engagement in the United States, Latin America, and the Caribbean tend to recede and channels of communication and space for open debate are diminished. That presents an enormous challenge. At the dialogue, we are keenly aware how vital it is, today more than ever, to be a point of engagement marked by civil discourse, thoughtful exchange, and respectful relations. It is crucial to double down on core values such as democracy and the rule of law, social equity and economic growth, and economic cooperation that helped give birth to the dialogue some 36 years ago. In the many battles that rage today, we do not necessarily have to take, a, take sides, but we do have to take a stand. We have to defend the underpinnings of our organization. We have to treat people with the dignity they deserve. We have to reinvigorate the dialogue with new voices and new questions that reflect new realities, always in search of consensus approaches to tackle difficult problems. Giving up or giving in is not an option. Just as the dialogue worked closely with Latin Americans to help end the civil wars that racked Central America in the 1980s, today we are undertaking an important initiative involving hemispheric leaders to help deal with an unprecedented migration and refugee crisis and restore democratic rule in Venezuela. I want to pay special tribute this evening to the dialogue's first class staff. They approach their work with the passion and rigor that gives us credibility, the dialogue's most valued asset. I admire them and I'm often inspired by them. Our gala team, under the superb direction of Denise Yanovich, has done an extraordinary job in making this evening and this event possible. Denise, along with Joan Caivano, Missy Reith, Irene Stefania, and Eric Brand, deserve hearty applause. Again, thank you all for being with us tonight and for your goodwill, collaboration, and support as we move forward together. Thank you.